Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a really fun uh, cash stuffing video for a couple of reasons. One, we are going to also do a cash condensing and two, we are going to be stuffing placeholders for my employer's uh, 401k matching and pension. So let's get started because we are dealing with some exciting amounts today. <music> Okay, so I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. I think I'm going to do the stuffing first and then I'm going to do the condensing, even though some of the stuffing that I'm doing is um, purposely small bills. So I'll try to remember that when I go through and do the cash condensing. Okay, so let's count our money. And guys, this is truly, this is the first job I've had where I've had this kind of employer contribution that I actually can see. Um, I've had a pension plan with my previous employer, but it's not something, I mean, we would get a report, but it's not something that you ever really saw happening or I really didn't know what the calculations went into it. I just kind of was like, oh, here it is. This is what it's become. And it was not a whole lot at all. So this one's far more exciting because it's much easier tracked. Um, okay, so today's amount is actually a total of $22,832. So once again, $22,832. Now, let's be clear, $21,500 is all going to be placeholder, and that's because it is being deposited by my employer or is an automatic um savings transfer um, for like my regular 401k or my um, uh, 529 plan. So first we're gonna count the placeholders, then we'll count the cash. So placeholders should be 21,500. And I did the opposite of what I normally do, which is the small, um, larger placeholders are at the beginning and smaller, so there we go. So I've got 10,000, 20,000, 21,000, 150, 300, 400, 500. So 21,500 in placeholders. And then that leaves us with cash of 1,332. So let's count that up real quick. 100, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 1,300, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So $1,332 in cash. All right, so here we go. I was planning actually on filming this tomorrow. I'm doing it pretty late tonight. Um, but the upload speeds on YouTube have been really slow lately and, um, you know, connectivity has kind of been in and out. We've had a lot of storms in the area. So doing it tonight just to get everything all queued up and then just loading it hopefully overnight. So here we go. Let us start with the reverse like I normally do. I call it the reverse just because of how it is in my spreadsheet. But this will be the challenges and the, um, yeah, basically the savings challenges. So first off, we are going to do our monthly savings. So for April, we are going to do $30 today. So $20, $30. Put that in here. I don't have, let me grab my pen, my marker. There we go. So we've got 30 done. Next up is going to be kids' birthdays, which is going to be $15 today. So 10 and 5. And this we will condense, so I won't count it right now. But since it's only 15, we're going to do one of the Lego heads. All right. Okay. 
Let's move on to my challenge boxes. So 52 week challenge is going to be $50 this week. Wow, that's great. Okay, we'll do 150. If you guys hear some hammering in the background, so my husband is putting in hardwood floor in our first floor for two of the rooms. One um, is my mom's bedroom and one is what we kind of called the office slash workroom for the kids. Um, but we are putting hardwood floor in instead of carpeting now because we are thinking that my dad's gonna move downstairs because of the steps. So my mom's room already got done and now my husband's just doing the second room. So you might hear a little bit of banging. Apologize for that. All right, back to school is going to get, let's see, $25. So there's the $25 envelope. And somebody pointed out that I had a header on my shop indicating that it was still closed for my January vacation and I never took that down because usually I see my website through the admin uh, view. So I did remove that. The shop is open. Both of these challenge boxes are there um, if you wanna take a look around. Um, I don't advertise my shop very much because I'm really, that's not my primary goal here. Um, I'm on a financial journey and I wanna share information. But if you see something that is on here, basically anything except the Louis Vuitton, um, it is probably on that shop. So please feel free to look at the description. It's just semod.com. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, that was both. Yep, that was both of the boxes. So, okay, savings is done. We're going to go back on up to our sinking funds. Okay. So gas is going to get 150. So I'm bumping up the gas a little bit because we had, we spent quite a bit last month. Um, I'm anticipating some more um, dr long drives to the bed and breakfast. My husband's got to go up there for some like maintenance um, and we're getting geared up for season opening in May. Basically there might be a couple openings in April, but basically May is when we're really thinking we'll open it fully. Um, so I'm just going to up it a little bit this month. So 150, so we've got 100, 20, 40, and 50. So since these are categories that I swept at the end of last month, I am not gonna cash condense these. I'm purposely putting smaller bills in so I don't have to make quite so much change um, when I do the expensing. Groceries is gonna get 100 as well. Let's see, this'll be 20s. One, two, three, four, and five. Got a big stack of 20s today. Milk delivery will get 30. Eating out is going to also get 100. So last month we did a lot of eating out. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So this month I'm really gonna try to stick hard to be much more mindful with when we eat out um, and try to do a little bit more at home. Household is going to get $60, so that will also be 320s. All right, so this will be, let's see, we've got 150, 220, 40, 60, 80, 320, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So that is good. Vehicle insurance is going to also get $60. So 320s, we've got 120, 40, 60, 80, 220, 40, 60. Vehicle maintenance is going to get $100. Oops, that's just gonna be a straight up 100. So one, two, three, four, five, 556, 20, 40, 45, 50, one, two, three. So that's good. I have brakes that I'm gonna to need to replace on my car. So that is what we are saving for right now. And I'm gonna need tires, so I really gotta work on that one. Subscriptions is gonna get $10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, one, two, and three. Gifts will get $50. So 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, one, two, and three. Holidays was only gonna get $20. I really don't have any holidays coming up. 20, 40, 50, five, six, seven, eight. 
Um, I'm trying to think of any holidays that we really celebrate. Um, Halloween's going to be a big one, but maybe 4th of July. Um, I do like to sometimes get the kids uh, 4th of July themed shirts. Um, so maybe that or, I don't know, maybe some like fun dessert, something like, and fireworks, I guess. We're not big fireworks people, but, you know, the kids do like the little ones and sparklers and some of those things. Um, okay, timeshare is not getting anything. Travel will get $60. There's a theme this week of $60 for a lot of these envelopes. So 102, 253, 20, 40, 60, 75, 6. 376. We don't have any major travel coming up that I know of. So maybe in the fall, we'll save for the fall. Health is going to get $100. So one, two, three, four. Four, five, goodness, some sticky bills. 102, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 750, 70, 91. So, 791. And that is it for the sinking funds right now. We will come back to those for condensing. All right, 401k. So, 401k is going to be the big mamba jamba. It's going to be 21,350. So 10, 20,000, 21,000, and leave one of the 150s out. So 21,100, 200, 350. And that is so exciting. So I um, work at a law firm and uh, I am an attorney by training. Um, I don't practice law anymore. Um, I am more in. Um, like technology and risk and cyber response and all of that kind of stuff. So basically, I'm more an internal resource now for the law firm. Um, and the law firm is very generous in their compensation packages. And basically, um, they don't provide a separate pension. Um, the pension is wrapped up with their 401k deposit, and it's not dependent on um, a match. So I contribute the full amount of 401k every year that the IRS allows, but even if I contributed $0 to my 401k, the law firm would still deposit this amount because it's based on what my salary is, a percentage of my salary. So um, that's so yeah, that's really exciting. I've never really seen this kind of lump sum before, um, so I'm very excited. So see, we're not going to count this. We'll count this at the end of the month, which I totally forgot to do in my March recap. I, I did my balances in on my charts to just show how much it gained, but I did not actually go through and rebalance within the envelope. So we will do that next month. All right. So very, very exciting. Okay. 529 is going to get the 150. So there we go. This is for my kids. Um, HSA is getting skipped. Next up is going to be kids. And they are getting $100 plus this gift card that I still haven't used yet. One, two, three, four, and five. Again, the gift card was a Fetch Rewards cash-in. Um, so right now, Fetch Rewards, you scan your receipts and everything. And they also have online ga games that you can play and get points as well. Um, I would, I have not been playing any of the games because I feel like for me personally, it's kind of a rabbit hole of taking up way too much time, but I know I've heard of some people, you know, getting a lot of bonus points by doing that. Um, okay. Allowance is going to get $7. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this should also be seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Academics is going to get $25. So 25, 25. And this is one, two, three, four, four fifty, four seventy, four ninety, five hundred, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So I might slow down the academic saving right now just because um, we're not going to have Spanish club until really the fall. 
Um, and I do most of the other things through enrichment, so we'll see. Um, although, maybe I, my kids do, my oldest does Kumon, so maybe I'll take Kumon out of there and start budgeting in there. Right now, Kumon is just um, taken out of my bank account, and I don't reflect it in here because it's just a monthly thing that is automatic. But maybe I'll start actually cash stuffing it and taking it out of here. We'll see. Athletics is going to get $50, so $20, $40, $50. So 500, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 950, 1,000, 1050, 11, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1200, 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, and 3. Enrichment is going to get nothing this week. Okay, we're done with the investment binder. Husband's binder. All right, so let's refill his personal. We're going to give him $30 this week. He was telling me when he got home tonight um, that he really wanted to stop at McDonald's, but he didn't because he wanted to save his money. And um, so he had some leftover wedding soup that we had from Easter um, for dinner, which in my opinion is far better than McDonald's, but that I'm obviously biased because I used to eat Italian wedding soup that my grandma would make for breakfast. I loved it so much. 20, 30, five, six, seven, and eight. So yes, wedding soup I could eat for every single meal for multiple days in a row without getting tired. Um, grooming is going to get $20. So 50, 70, 95, 6, 7, 8, and 9. No sartorial. Business 1 is going to get $50. So 50, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And business three is going to get $20. So 100, 8. All right. My binder is up next. See, what are we doing here? Personal is going to get $25. Interesting that I gave my husband $30. <laughs> so 10 and three fives. One, two, and three. So we'll put two of these over to the side for the wallet. So 150, 60, 70, 80, 95, um, 200, 5, 6, and 7. Is that right? I have that much. Wow. Great. Hair is going to get $20. So we have a $50 gift card, which I think there's only a little bit on it because I did buy some shampoo a while ago. So 50, um, but I'm not going to count this. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 20, 35. So what I do when I get a gift card is I put it in the envelope and I take the cash equivalent out and put it in my cash back. So even though I'm technically taking cash out of here um, as a one for one, I don't really count it towards the main cash because sometimes, you know, it's hard to like pull the expense out. Um, and I just prefer to like pull that placeholder out when I use the entire gift card. All right, then the last category is going to be beauty and that is also going to be $25. So 25. So 20, 40, 45, 50, one, two, and three. All right, so that is it for our cash stuffing. Now don't go away because for most people, the fun part is the cash condensing. So let me first put this into my wallet real, really quickly. Um, oh, and it looks like I have some leftover from last week. 
And so let's do this. I'm kind of thinking I might actually save both of this up and donate to the World Central Kitchen um, by Chef Jose um, Andres. And yeah, we'll see. All right, that is it for the wallet. So let's now do the cash condensing. So I went to the bank and my bank has at their ATMs, like you can select the specific bills, except that this one, the one that I went to was like, we only have 20s and we have 100s. So that worked out perfectly for me because I wanted to get 100s for this cash condensing. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So $2,000 we are going to hopefully exchange. All right, so here we go. Um, let me start with invest because I know that this one's going to have some that I definitely want to condense. Let's start at the back. So let's see with enrichment if there's anything. Okay, well, right off the bat, we've got, we've got 50 for 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Let's see, we can do two tens for a 20. Perfect. So that'll be good for enrichment. Very nice. This one's a nice thick one. Um, okay, so we've got one, two, three, four. Okay, we've got a couple 50s. Got some more. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Perfect. All right. And if I run out of 100s, one, that's a great thing because that means I have more than 2,000 in there that could be condensed. And two, then at least we'll just hopefully make it, it'll help. So, let's see. Got 50, 70, 90, 100. So this can go get converted. And that's it. Allowance, no, and kids, no, because I did that specifically small. All right, so we are off to a great start. Um, let me do let me do the savings challenges next, although that's probably the binder that can probably most take enough bills. Although it's you don't want to overstuff the the envelopes, the vellum envelopes, um, just because it starts to rip or you know they get. Um, distorted so we should do that 100 and then let's see 20 50 70 here's another 100 let's see okay 20 oh wow okay so one two three four five so that's 50 20 and then we can do a 10 all right and I think that's all we can do right so for the kids birthday we've got 250 70 85 285 so we, we're doing pretty well because my goal is to be done with this by around June time frame because my first son's birthday is in August although I've already bought the tickets for his birthday a long time ago. So we're going to do um, Bluey um, at a Bluey event. Oops. Got a little bit excited there for Bluey. Um, okay. So was that it? No, I'm sorry. I have to do the March envelope. Here we go. Okay, so 50. One, two, three, four, and five. And that's it. Okay, so that should be 235 it is. All right, let's go to sinking funds and we'll do reverse order here. So health, I feel like is mostly 100s. Yep, can't do any condensing there. Travel, we've got a little bit. 
two, three. I guess we can do a 50 here. There we go. Timeshare, nope, that's got only 100s. Holidays, let's see, we could do 50, which I'm fine with since we aren't going to be touching holiday anytime soon, I don't think. Gifts, okay, 100, one, two, three, four. Um, do I wanna do 50, I guess, why not? We'll do 150 and 110 for that 60. It's kind of a silly condensing, but I'll take it. We have the bills. Subscriptions. Hmm. You know, maybe I'll do two tens for a 20, but I'm not going to do much more than that because I feel like a lot of them like um, are smaller, like $10, $11, $15. So I'm not going to condense that one too much. Vehicle maintenance. This one can definitely get condensed. So 100, 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 50. Okay. Very nice. Oof, I need to replace this envelope. Insurance. Um, I guess this doesn't really matter. I'm about to pull it out next week, but 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And I'll just keep these. I think I'll just keep, well, no. We'll just condense as much as possible, I guess. There we go. So 260. Household. Got 100. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's see, can we do anything with this? There's only four ones, nope. All right, that is like the worst possible spread, right? That you could possibly have for these bills. Okay. Eating out, nope. All of these other categories were sweep categories, which means that they started from zero and I intentionally put in small bills. So we're good there. All right, let's see if there's anything in husband's binder or mine that can be condensed. Um, I don't think in that one. Grooming, I think this was like $99, right? 95, six, seven, yeah. So this one can't really be condensed. Sartorial. Uh, we could do a 50. There we go. He has the lining in one of his suits that needs to be repaired, so I'm suspecting that'll come out pretty soon. This one, we've got another 50. Business two. Nope, we're good. And business three definitely can be condensed. One, two, three, four, five. And then we can do a 20. Okay. And finally, my binder. So I know my personal can get condensed. Whoops. So we've got 100. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Right? So we can do 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. Grab, whoops, one of these. And then, yep, that will be it for that. When I need to make change though, woof, that's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot. Okay, 50, uh, let's see, 50 plus, let's do this 50, right? 
So 50, 70, 90, 100. And then I think that's it for the rest. Oops. There. Let's see, we have one more 100 left. Um, I guess, let's see. 50. Could put it here, but you know what? Maybe I will just do two 50s for right now. Let me see what the other envelopes look like. Beauty. It's going to be 20, 40, 50. Could do that. And professional dues. Yeah. So we'll do two 50s for the 100. And then nothing else to condense. Perfect. All right, so perfect number of 100s. Um, and then we're gonna take all of this back to the bank. So not a huge cash condensing, but definitely a fun one because at least we know it was $2,000 because that's what we started off with the 100s. And we did a mega stuffing, but not quite as fun because it wasn't like $21,000 in cash, which would never stuff that much. I would just keep it in the bank regardless. Um, and But it, it definitely will be fun to see the investment portfolio 401k uh, grow for that. Um, let's see. That is it. I'm trying to think of something to leave me a comment for. Um, let's see. We're in April. Um, hmm. I, I guess, I don't know. I should have thought about this before the video, but um, let me know. Um, let me think. Let me know what your favorite food is that your grandmother, your aunt, your best friend, your mother, whoever, somebody in the, your uncle, your, your grandfather, whoever it is. But let me know what is a, your very favorite food to eat that a family member or close friend prepared for you that nobody else can replicate, right? Like can't find at a restaurant, even if like, like for me, if my grandmother makes wedding soup and then my mom makes wedding soup and I make wedding soup, all three of them taste differently. Um, and there's just something about my grandmother's that just, I guess it reminds me of when I was very little and would be at our house. So let me know in the comments um, what your favorite uh, comfort food or whatever kind of food that is made by a loved one that nobody else can make. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you had as much fun as I did in this. Um, it was hopefully quick and sweet, but um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.